Hello, my name is Joel Grimes with the Small Wheeler Product Group based in Clayton, North Carolina. We're here today with the all new CAT K Series Small Wheel Loaders, including the 924K, the 930K, as well as the 938K. We're going to share some operator tips with you so that you can get the most out of your new K Series Small Wheel Loader. True electro hydraulic controls have been baked into the design of the new CAT K Series Small Wheel Loader. That delivers value adding features to you like in cab programmable kickouts. They're easily set through the soft touch membrane. All we've got to do is put the linkage in the position that we want, tell the machine which tool we've got on, whether that be bucket or whether that be fork. In this example, let's go ahead and program our bucket kickouts. So we've got our linkage set at both ground and level, maybe two inches from ground, and we can simply do a push and hold on the tilt program. Two seconds, we'll get a beep, and we'll get indication on the banner that our tilt kick out has been set. We can just as easily set our lower kick out. Linkage position where you want it, push and hold, lower kick out set. Now we can raise our lift arm up to the hopper or the truck, whatever it may be, and we can program our upper kick out. Same push and hold functionality, and we're ready to go to work. With easy to set programmable kickouts from the cab, you can make those real time adjustments to keep you running efficiently all day long. Now that we've programmed our kickout points, let's see how they work in concert with the soft detents in the implement handle and how they use the electronically controlled snubbing feature to reduce wear and tear in both the operator and the machine. Starting with our lift kickout, we simply pull the implement lever back through the detent and we can let go and the linkage will automatically go up to that upper kickout point and it will electronically snub when it gets there. Now I'm going to go ahead and manually dump the bucket over just to simulate dumping into a truck. Once we've dumped out that material, we can simply go back to our tilt kickout by pulling it towards our knee and letting it go. What I hope you notice is it also snubs in the tilt kickout position. The last kickout is our lower, so by simply pushing it forward into the lower detent, the linkage is going to float back down to that lower kick out point, electronically snub when it gets there, and kick out, and we're ready to go into our next pass. To reduce carry back to the truck or to get all of the material out of that bucket, the CAT K Series Small Wheel Loaders feature an EH wrap out function. Simply three times over center of the implement handle induces a very aggressive wrap out in the bucket to get all of that sticky material out. Now that we've seen all the features that the K-Series Small Wheeler has to offer, let's put them all in practice with a simulated dig cycle. So as I put the machine in gear, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to creep into the gravel pile here, lift to set my tires, give myself maximum power with my right pedal, RPM, complete that dig cycle into reverse, and I'm going to pull it into lift detent as I back out of the pile. I'm going to make my directional shift. I'm going to go ahead and dump that load and let's just wrap out a little bit of that sticky material into reverse, back to my level condition bucket kick out, into my lower float and I'm ready to go for my next pass. Features like in cab programmable kick outs, electro hydraulic snubbing, EH wrap out are going to make it easier to do your job and make you more comfortable doing it. Only found here on the CAT K-Series small wheel loaders. As you can see, the all new CAT K-Series small wheelers have been designed for operators. We hope that you find these operator tips useful and help you get the most out of your K-Series small wheel loader. Looking forward to seeing one on your job site. Now let's go to work.